Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play Pillars of Eternity, episode 389, and we're about to activate the machine and see what choices we get to finish the game with, and then we should be able to go back and do the White March. Yeah. And finish off the last few things. Okay, game. There we go. It seems to struggle at the end of the bit of the game is. With your companions bearing witness, you step up to the place where Thanos once stood, before his people long ago. The great machine lies in front of you, idle, ready. You have seen the machine and others like it operate. You understand how it works. It is a device for directing souls. As a watcher, it would be a simple matter to influence that direction. Uh, through, Though as a big as the machine is, it may be the last thing you ever... Oh, sure, it's going to kill me. Speak the command to activate the machine. There is shrieking of stone grinding against stones as old cogs loosen and begin to turn. You have only moments before the souls will be sent into the, the ardent vein. This will be your only chance of rejecting them. Holy fudge. What's my choices? Send the souls back into the reincarnation cycle. Okay, that will take them back to the babies, right? Return the souls to the bodies where they were... In oh, no. That, that's the thing. Yeah. So for the good reincarnation cycle, they'll, they'll be born again as somebody else. So no, it is intended to that one. Uh, disintegrate the souls, ending their existence. No. Why do I do that? Disturb the essence of the existing souls in dry wood to strengthen them. Dispute. Oh, sorry. Not disturb. To dispute them to the essence of the existing souls. So basically, I guess, uh, Joe Bloggs uh, behind the counter, he gets extra souls, he gets stronger. Sounds a little silly, but okay. Dispense the souls to an unknown location. No. They were intended. Yeah. And close your eyes and span your preparation outward. Uh, taking in the immense t totality of the tens of thousands of souls orbiting the chamber, you grasp on the souls in tr ten tenors? Tenors? Okay. You find yourself fighting to keep them all within your influence, and you can feel them slipping away from you as the machine gains speed. Uh oh. Oh. Won the game. Woo! Got an achievement in the corner. Hopefully, that recorded it. So, you see if it didn't. It said, Won the game. Again, we've still probably got a few episodes to go because we've got to go back to White Marsh. And, uh, and more likely, when we do finish this properly, we will then move on. I'm going to have Elix replacing this. And hopefully finish that before Elix 2 comes out. But at this point, I believe this is probably December's episode, if not going on January. I'm recording this episode on the 27th of uh, September, 2021. But I believe this will be in December's episode, possibly, or January's. So if Elix 2 does come out by the end of this year, December 2, probably, you won't see Elix 1 and 2. Finish until next year, and then hopefully I can buy Elix 2 and carry on with that one. <laughs> and eventually, at some point in the channel, I will want to do Pillars 2, but that's probably way off right now. At least at uh, this moment in time, anyway. Uh, even though Pillars 2 could easily sl slot into my new section. Do you know how I tend to have the five episodes a week that's new, and then I have five episodes a week that's my old, and then I have my iconic stuff? Pillars 2 can technically slot into the new section now, even though obviously as of right now my goal with that, I have as recording this, Spellforce 3 is finished. Uh, I believe there's about a week or two on it for the channel. Obviously this is way back in September when you saw this. It was finished and then I should have moved on to Warhammer 2. And then my goal once that's finished probably, or at least do a Bond campaign on it, move on to Warhammer 3 when it comes out next year. And once I've done that, I might jump back with a new thing if Cyberpunk's had expansion or done a lot of difference. Or we could jump into Pillars too, maybe. We'll see. Unless something else is taking my fancy, that's really... Wow! Hell! You never know, Squadron 42 might finally be out, and that will take it a slot. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, let's continue with this, shall we? A brief moment comes when it feels as though you hold all of them at once, and their force is so great it feels as though they will tear you apart. In the moment, you dedicate your entire being to bending their orbit, channeling their flow in a new direction. In a new direction. So we're going to get a cutscene for this? Be nice. At your yeah, command, say, but the ancient device became your instrument, spinning to life with deafening resonance and gathering up the swirling essence like thread on a great spindle. There, in the pale pulsing glow of the machine that set you on this path long ago, you summoned all your strength, focusing on your objective and blocking out all yes. else. With a single concussive blast that rocked the chamber and sent you tumbling that, to the ground. Um, you freed like the souls from their stasis. Exhausted, your consciousness slipping away, your last sight was of the machine, dark and dormant. Then your eyes closed, and sleep welcomed you at long last. 
After coming to and searching for oh, some time, I'm alive. you discovered the route Theos used to enter Sun in Shadow, and embarked on a long and arduous ascent back to the surface. Did it just leave me? You emerged in Terra Evron after days of tunneling through the rubble Theos I'm had left behind. And when you stepped into the daylight, you were faced with a different Deerwood than the one you had left. Good or bad? At your direction, the souls diverted by Theos were guided back to the vessels originally meant okay, nice. for them. For the first time, parents of hollow-born children woke to the cries of That's their nice, infants God. and looked into their eyes to see them staring That's back. Cool. People fell to their knees where they stood, thanking Helia or Magrin or even Aethys for their me? forgiveness of whatever guilt they felt before. I did before. it. <laughs> but for all the relief that had come to some parents, others only found new what? grief. For many thousands of Hollowborn had died during Wideone's legacy. Many by their parents' oh, own seriously? Parents. For those children, there would be no homecoming. Yet the last hollow birth was in the past now, and those parents willing to risk trying for a new child were frequently rewarded, often with twins. Many felt they saw Helia's hand in it, and the year would be remembered as the year of Helia's splendor. Though you had killed Lord Radric in his throne room, so strong was his drive to rid his land of Aethasians that he returned to what? life as a death guard, a deathless crusader for his brutal Seriously? cause. With the remains of his humanity stripped away, Radric came to see all the people of Gilded Vale as worshippers and of Aethas. Seems very good now. And one day, he led his forces into the village personally to see them all purged from what? his lands. Gilded Vale was left a hollow shell, its buildings ruined, and its people slaughtered. Did I not? Have Even no travelers and would-be squatters knew better than to take refuge inside its borders. Lord Radric returned to Radric's hold, where he remained, keeping eternal watch over his barren domain. Following the assassinations of Duke Avar Wolfgrim and Lady Webb, Defiance Bay was thrown into oh, political upheaval. In the ensuing weeks. The streets had become the domain of looters and blackguards. Few dared to step outside their own doors oh. alone or unarmed. But order was oh, soon yes. established by the Knights oh, of the Crucible, who, despite their depleted numbers, had gained faith okay, in the public eye for their role in the unraveling of the conspiracy surrounding okay, Wyvern's okay, legacy, that for us. and were quickly reinforced by returning forces from Fleetbreaker Castle. Nice. For the Knights, their resurgence marked a return to the tradition as well. Having seen firsthand the dangers presented by dabblers and animancy, the Order quickly abolished the practice internally, preferring the familiarity of their hammers and forges to the uncertainties of Essence and Adra. Their identity rediscovered, the Knights suppressed their political oh aspirations and began once again to train their recruits in oh the oh art God. of blacksmithing, recapturing the post-revolutionary ideals of Deerwood and regaining the respect of its citizens as a result. Though the machine atop Terra Noaneth had been disabled, it had not seen its last That's use. Right. Heritage Hill was rebuilt, and no sooner had the first families moved in to resettle the district than members of the Leaden Key, acting under standing orders from their Grand Master, climbed the tower and oh, you gotta be kidding the me. machine. The initiate slew a handful of the new settlers under cover of night and watched as history repeated itself, what? the victims reanimating and devouring the survivors. After this second incident, the district would remain abandoned. The Duke's assassination at the apparent hands of an Animancer had caused catastrophic rioting in the streets of Defiance Bay. But those who had escaped the melee in the palace hearings remembered the testimonies of the strange guest who had shown up Me. that day and absolved Animancy, implicating the leaden key. Oh, yes. The rumor spread quickly. And soon, the popular belief was that the assassin had been a leaden key yes. spy. Yes! That's good. When the legacy had lifted, people came to see it not as a sign that the riots had been according to the gods' wishes, as Theos had hoped, but as a confirmation that animancy had never been the source of the problem Thank in the you. first place. Dear Woodens instead convinced themselves that the riots had somehow purged Defiance Bay of leaden key spies, and that the end of Whitewind's legacy was their well-deserved okay, reward. That's good, that's good. The rage against Animancers was quickly forgotten, and those who had survived were permitted to return to Brackenberry Sanitarium and rebuild it so they might resume their studies. 
the Hollowborn Scourge ended, and healthy children were born once more in the villages of the White March. Yet this new generation displayed an uncanny vigor and a hunger for exploration. In time, they would push across the White March, like the March establishing new towns and restoring forgotten settlements. What had once been a region in decline became a thriving frontier, known for its famous That's artisans cool, and explorers. Because I finished White March too. Under Tana's guidance, stalwarts' minds were restored, albeit slowly and with half a dozen accidents. Did I do before I did last However, Five. this did not forestall the arrival of scores of prospectors, many of them brigands and outlaws, and all of them eager to profit from the White Forge. By the time Stalwart reopened its mines, half a dozen others had been excavated in the nearby peaks. The lawless men and women who ran them became a constant source of competition and violence for the beleaguered village. The opening of Durgan's battery created ample opportunities for the smugglers that already prowled the mountains. The law-abiding villagers of Stalwart did their best to bar the gates okay, against these ruffians, yet they somehow found a way into the village, where they spit in the streets and shouted over games of dice. While the villagers fretted and gossiped about their rowdy visitors, few noticed Owena's midnight errands or the extra coin that passed to her as she served food and drink to the boisterous patrons. Even as Stalwart memorialized the discovery of the White Forge, the arrival of the Watcher became an even more Yay. celebrated occasion. For the Watcher had given them not only Durgan's battery, but also hope for their own village. Harmka's death had brought the Devil of Carrick little oh, satisfaction. Go for In time, her taste for vengeance soured. What replaced it was a hunger to feel Ooh, something, okay, good. anything, new. Summer had thinned the snowpack twice over when she felt the joint at her elbow first begin to Ooh. stiffen. She turned her back on the hopes of animancy and civilization ah. and walked east. She pushed through the mountains, past Raid Ceres, and into the broad plains of Isha Middle. She had forgotten what it was like to simply journey, no goal or destination in mind. Though she felt nothing more than the steady thump of her feet on the road, the endless horizons and grassy meadows were new to her. She measured her time in the gradual rusting of her body and okay. was satisfied. Her movements slowed, oh, she, but so did the world around her. Waist-high grasses undulated and tacked in the wind as gradual as I mean, the tides. Keep, her alive, Sparrows isn't and black jays made steady pilgrimages across the sky, each flap of their wings a solemn salute. She could hardly move when she found something she had never seen oh, no, before. Nice. The ocean. With the last of her strength, she pulled herself beneath the water, content at last to feel the movement of currents and the constant oh, caress okay. of the wind. She found peace in the wind. That's good. Maneha never found the salt well, but she found a kind of peace in her duties as a gift thing bearer, I do. and in the ebb and flow of her journeys. As she traveled and accepted burdens from Andra's supplicants, she saw in their eyes a kind of peace that she had not previously noticed. It was faith, not that Andra had freed them of their pain, guilt, and regret, but that she would, a little more each year. With that realization, Maneha learned to accept that Andra's ways were as gradual as they yeah, were like inexorable. Well. The fortress of Cadnua emerged as a bastion of security nice. in the midst of an untamed land, becoming the end of the last episode, Thane people. And Earl in Deerwood. Legend grew over time of its impregnability, and stories of formidable invaders easily scattered by the keep's defenses became popular around the hearths of Deerwood and Inns. Likewise, it also became a beacon to travelers, merchants, and visiting dignitaries alike. Reputed as the finest fortress in all Deerwood, people would journey from near and distant lands alike to experience its fabled hospitality and grandeur. Palagina had gone against the Duke's Bell's oh, orders by inventing a new trade that. arrangement with the Anamenfath to accommodate the recovering Deerwood and Market. With the Deerwood's people still weakened by Wideman's legacy, the Valian Republics easily pushed their would-be competitors out of the market. For her outrageous insubordination and uh -huh. audacity, Pelagina was banished from oh. the Republics. She traveled north in the Eastern Reach, avoiding Valian ports and entering the ranks of the kind wayfarers. Oh. Despite her bravery and dedication to those in her care, her strange appearance made her feel like an outsider wherever she went. 
Adair chose not to return home to Gilded Vale. Still most comfortable far from cities, he settled in Deerford, which, like many towns in the Deerwood, was beginning the slow process of rebuilding. Believing now that it was the obligation of Kith to be the leaders their gods had not, Adair was soon named mayor of the town, and under his guidance, Deerford soon began to prosper. He expelled the last of the Scanites from the area, and drew new settlers with the offer of land, a trick he had learned from someone he otherwise preferred to forget. Mm. Me, with it? each passing day, Deerford would come to more closely resemble the gilded veil of Adair's childhood, the one worthy of okay. its name. Nice. When the dust settled in sun and shadow, Aloth looked upon the remains of Theos Ix Arcanon, his former master. He saw where the Grand Master had gone wrong, and he knew what he would do better. The secret of the gods would be preserved, and with it, the sanity and well-being of all kith. He donned the remains of Theos's ceremonial garb, and prepared himself for the long and lonely task oh, ahead. With both their aims fulfilled, Kanarua bid the Watcher farewell, and sailed back to his beloved okay. Rawatai. There, he reported on his findings to the Lore College. Kana spoke of the Inwithan people, describing both their vile experiments and their inspiring accomplishments. Mm -hmm. He spoke too of the destruction of the tablet by the Leaden Key, and the group's efforts to erase the Anguithan legacy from the world. Both inspiration and cautionary tales, he said, could be found in the world beyond Rawatai's borders. Kana urged his people to continue to pursue knowledge abroad, so that the lessons found there might benefit yeah, Dakoa. Kana's inability to prove his theory of Anguithan oh. influence diminished his academic oh, standing, but his passion drew that's much good. interest from those less concerned with degrees. Kana swiftly became an influential figure in the move toward a more collaborative approach to expansion on the northern continent. In his personal life, he came to enjoy the reputation of an affable eccentric, willing to share grand and impossible secrets along with okay, a drink and a song. With Theos defeated, oh, and the wow. souls released from sun and shadow, healthy children were born once again in the Deerwood. The grieving mother sought a place where she might do penance for the birthing bell. She returned to Deerford, where, to the astonishment of the villagers, she delivered the first healthy child oh, nice. in over a decade. She remained there, and with each new birth, she saw a measure of hope okay, restored to the Deerwood, and a measure of grace for her own troubled past. Durance continued to blame Woodica for the atrocities yeah, of the of Saints it. War. Believing Magrin to have been a pawn in the machinations of the Queen that was, and feeling that Theos's expulsion had been a step towards reconciliation with his goddess, Durance tried for a time to reopen communication with her. When only silence came, he took it as a condemnation of his continued existence. Ultimately, he built a pyre and threw what? himself upon it, using his own shattered staff. He as committed Kenya. suicide. Sagani experienced the four months of her journey back to Masuk wow. in vivid colors. She strove to memorize every moment of her final trip through the Deerwood, Erglonfoth, the Valian Republics, and beyond, preparing to tell her village of what she had seen on her long journey. All of Masuk shared in her triumph and she felt her pride and elation magnified by the joy of her village. Never again did she doubt the value of her sacrifices. After decades as a long hunter, Sagani finally became one of Masuk's most respected yeah, we'll elders. She guided her community with wise counsel, and a generation after she finally passed, another huntress journeyed into the world to oh. find her soul. For you, the death okay. of Theos brought an end to your waking okay. visions, and a silence to the whispers of the past. In their absence, you were able okay. to sleep. The questions of a distant lifetime ceased to trouble okay, so your All that remained was what to make of the answer. And... Unfortunately, oh, no, unfortunately. you would have Why? little time to contemplate the matter. Soon after your victory at Sun and Shadow, rumors of a monstrous army <sighs> swept the Deerwood. What first sounded like superstition and drunkard's tales turned out to be much what? more. Enormous creatures of flesh and iron found you and brought the walls of Seriously? your teeth down upon you. 
Seriously? So I'm dead now? What the hell? Okay, I feel my ending was very... Um... Good, then bad. Good. It was a roller coaster ending. So it was my only option to load now. So basically, because I did that final bit, I didn't pass the White March 2. There's the crowds. Let's speed this up a bit. Let's see. Honestly, was like, people who made the game. Down for a few of the names you see some days. <laughs> Come on, speed up. Can you go back? Oh, you can. You can go back, people. I march on the team. Okay, so I march. I was expecting basically to. Oh, this. Ah, oh, the bet this is the backers. Game one, isn't it? I back game two, if I'm not mistaken. So I won't be on this. Um. So I'm guessing. Yeah, see, see some sort of backers quick. So I'm guessing then, when it, before I had the machine, I should have left, did the white march, and done the last few things, then come back to it. But I guess I'm gonna stick. If this is it, and it doesn't let me be back in the world and continue, that's gonna be my true ending. But what I do want to do very quickly is load it up, attempt the white march quickly, one fight, lose. That's it. I'm done. We win. That's it, but I won't go through the ending there. And then just a soul share. I could have done it. I should have done it, etc. For 21 minutes, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to make this the last episode. What are we on? 389. Let's we'll get through these quick. And of course, people want to see a few names, so. Oh, we're only in J's. Bloody hell. A lot of backers. The music's not bad. Huh! Hey! Huh! Obviously, it's not that loud because obviously I had it lower. Where are we up to? These are oh, close to the end. W's might be quite a lot. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's it. So what we're gonna do then? Just have one fight with and with our groups if we can win it. So if I'm not mistaken, it took us ten bumps, four hours at four. If I load up and I don't activate that, I should be able to leave and do it, shouldn't I? Right. So that'll be this one, right? Or just in between the fight. No, I, I, I manually saved it, didn't I, before I did it, so it'll be 93. Yeah, let's load my 93 up. My goal is just to leave, do this one fight. If we win, I can say, hey, I, I could have done the fight. I'm not going to go back here and then go through everything again, because all that's going to change is that one character's. So what happened to her is my true ending, so we'll go with that. We're at 23 minutes, so this is probably going to be half an hour show. And we finish at 389. Bloody hell, not bad. But if I fail now, then I could never have done the white march at that point. I don't know if I had the wrong characters or what. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to leave. Yeah. Uh, we're going to speed it up. We should be able to leave and get on the map. Just travel to white march. And I've just got to quickly remember where it is. I always forget when I get there, don't I? I'm going to go through the wrong bloody doors. I think you go inside and take the route up. I think. And that will technically... She's not even with me, but that will change her ending if I went back and took her there. But it'd be nice just to see it quick if we can. But we get, then we get our books handed to us. Speaking of which, let's just rest them up. There's another fresh. Go. You must yes, get I'm gathering the party. I'm gathering the party. The party's being gathered. <laughs> follow, follow. Uh, da -da. But it'd be nice to show. Oh, I could actually have done it. But I honestly thought once you completed it, White March would have continued. You'd come back at the end of it and, oh, do any side quests. Not the game's over. But because of that, my guy thought it was more important to do the, the save the souls, and that's my true ending, so. My game might load up. Okay, can I get out from this way? Nope. I can't teleport from here, can we? No, I have to physically leave. But yeah, we could always do that and come back and go through that ending again, but I think the game's taken long enough and we'll, go, we'll stick to it, but I would like to see, at least say, I could have won that fight if it did what I thought I would have won it, but we'll see. Come on, everybody. 
You can click directly on the area map to center the camera on that location. I can go for telling me that. But yeah, overall, the game had some ups and downs. Oh, and I had some points where I was so frustrated and annoyed with it, then other points where it was amazing. It was good. Can we leave yet? Uh, oh, great. Can we even get out of this, the pit? Was this a one way thing? I mean, I'd have to look before I went in the pit. I don't think you can get out of this. This was a one way. Fudge. Um. But I need to do it before I enter the pit then, don't I? Uh, Death Amber. Pre ending. Pre end game. Is that before we enter the pit? Oh, that's like looks like it, so that looks probably the best spot. There that's before I jump down, right? That's not this, is it? No. So ninety, let's go to ninety then. Come on, game. Be a bit slow. So let load up ninety. Because I think that's before we entered. And others than a couple of fights down here. I don't think we leveled during this. Once we got in the pit, did we? And even we did, it's one level. So it doesn't make much difference at this point. I just want to... One last crack at the, uh, the the White March thing. Just see if I could have done it. If not, they made that end fight impossible. <laughs> or, well, I wouldn't say impossible, but other players have done it. Okay. So how do I use your map? Can I use it now? Can I go to travel? Nope. So I've got to get to the edge of the map. What is there? Yeah. Okay, why does that make sure your stuff's... Has your sword on? Because that's things you're stronger with. Come on, boys and girls. And birds. Lions. Wolves. Crazy psychopathic commit suicide. You are. Hopefully I can travel from here, but I'll we'll just quickly a bomb. What level actually am I, by the way, for we Ready when you are. Sixteen, so I got to sixteen basically. I think that's what I was on left. Just say the word. Okay, can I pick anything or do I have to go back to one location first? I hope I can pick any location. Some weapon types such as this and me, and still left. So basically if I did pass this white march and want to go back, I have to do all what we just did over the what the past Five, six episodes again, ten episodes. So yeah, this this is a longer episode now, twenty eight minutes, but this is probably gonna end. Attempt this fight, see what the little pool is, and then boom, we're done. Oh, like I said, I could technically go to another thing at this point, but, Not episode, a problem. but I think we'll just do this. Okay, how's the quickest way? Okay, if we get to this one, it should be the pick, right? Come on guys. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Come on. Okay, here we go, so what I the map. Okay, if I can remember where it is now. I remember last time we came back, I forgot. How many episodes have we done to trying this White March, though, over the, the period of these episodes, though? So it must have to be like 20 episodes dedicated to just trying this battle <laughs> throughout uh, my, my time playing this game. This is our last try at it. Our last try. As strong as we could be. Technically, we, we have a few side quests we could go around and do. Might be able to push to 17, but... And also the combination of who we used, we could alternate between them as well. But well, theoretically, I could be here for another 20 episodes attempting this, so we're just going to do it one time and that's it. Mm -hmm. Ow. Okay, so how do I get to the top again? That's the part I always forget. Okay, it's the battery, isn't it? Or am I at the wrong place? Yeah, it's one, of, it's one of these, isn't it? I'm sure it's one of these towers. Yeah, we go in here and take the stairs up. No, I'm thinking, no, I'm, thinking I'm at the wrong spot. It's, no, it's, is it the Abbey? I think it's the Abbey. 
Ah, oh, fuck. I think it's the Abbey people. Oh, let me double check. Come on, me. It's to enter the Rickland for the moon. I'm stopping. I see him in my dreams. The Abbey. It's the Abbey. Fudge. Where are we? Abby, it's the Abbey. <laughs> Went to the wrong place. Well, 30 minute episode, so 389, big episode. Technically, I could half this, and that will be 390. Come on, game, load up, load up, load up, load up. One last shot at the white marsh, two. Okay. Okay, now it's up there we need to get. So I think we just go to this. I think. Hall of Presence, Hall of Presence. Yeah, I think it's just here. I think. What are you doing? Spotted approach. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not going to do that. We would, we would have done it back then, wouldn't we? This is about the battle. You are. Oh, I thought I'd speed on. There's a speed. Yeah, hopefully it's just at one place and we're up there. Okay. Not a problem. So hopefully this is the right location, so I don't mess around going through random wrong doors. And because the load screen, I feel, really hurt the game, but at the same time, this game I could have put on my SD drive, but I just don't have enough room to have this on a SD drive. <laughs> the only games I really had that under Cyberpunk, uh, uh, Star Citizen, and generally when I did the Total Wolf, so my take a look at it, I showed them on the SD drive before I moved them back to the D drive. So when I start Warhammer 2, that'll be on my SD drive. And it does hurt some games. Some games you don't even notice. Okay. Hmm. Didn't take me where I wanted. Is it this one? No, that goes down. It must be this one then. Right. You must get. Hopefully it's this one. I did, I did think that there before. I think it's you go in the place and it's an inside door. Right. So hopefully this is the correct inside door. Try and take spells. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If we fail this, then we, we couldn't pass White March to us. Sucks. Like I said, if I take like another 10, 20 episodes at it. And try a different combination of characters, probably. Yep, here we go. Let's do this. You've made a grave mistake. Okay, everybody. <sighs> okay, so you're going to instantly go with this. I bring you in. Okay, make sure everyone gets one of them. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to turn you in to this. What do you need to start drinking knees straight away? You especially. Is everyone okay? Everyone doing okay? Okay, heal your companion. Heal your companion. Get him out. Where am I? Yeah. Oh, I'm in thingy form. Did you get him out? Oh, he's still doing it. Okay. Okay, everyone go for... I don't know. I don't know if they can do this. Get that out. Get that out. The spell. Oh god, I'm just dead. Um, watching a major. Trying to make sure they stay in as best they can right now. Major. Oh, seriously, the heal went down. We're not going to do it, people. This fight is too hard. At least for my group. Yeah, they're all dropping now like flies. 
Um, Going down. Bad companion. Yeah. Your companion. Yeah. Heal. <laughs> Get him out again. Who's uh, that? Nice. I think as long as we've lasted. Ready with it. Drink that yet? Major. Okay. Now. okay. Minor. I thought she had a big one. Maybe she's drunk tonight. Oh my god! They've gotten down. They might pull this off. Oh god, no! She's gonna die. Major, 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 major. Run and roll. Um, make sure I hit that. Ah, okay. Pose, use that one. Can you revive your pet as he gone? No. Can you kick him down? Uh, we're so close. This is the best we've ever had this. Um, I'll let you use some of these. Do, didn't you have a heal one? Yeah, the moonlight. Let's <laughs> try something else. It's not good. It's not good. Um, why do you have no fingers left? Divine favor increases the accuracy and damage to allies. Yeah, maybe. More. <laughs> oh, we still have a swordsman left. Seriously? <laughs> He's not helping right one bit right now. Oh, they got that back. He's got doubles back. Fudge. Did, did he go down? No, he's there. Uh, he's almost dead. Come on. Come on. What can I do here? Get a good shot with this. Seriously, we're gonna lose right at the end. <laughs> in there, you. What's that do? Is that heal? Is she down or something? <laughs> She's down. Serious? Oh, I thought that was just healed. Him. Oh, this is so dying. Where's my bike? Where's my bike? Where's my bite? <laughs> Did we just bite the wrong one? I 
Oh, never mind. Come on, drink. Okay, we got him down. So somehow we got to kill these. Focus on him, focus on him. Come on, keep drinking your stuff. Come on. Um, bite him. Do I have any? <laughs> Summons a flurry of thin bolts, lightning, kicking enemies in the area. Okay, I think we're down to the last one. Oh, oh. We did it! So we could have done it. Holy fudge! Oh no, what's happening? What the hell's happening now? And then we could have took her and got her better end then. A voice of the deep. Not a problem. Rest. <laughs> so yeah, so we we could we could have passed. Ready it. when you are. Let's see what's up here, quirks. Shouldn't be much up here now. Few have laid yeah, eyes on what we see now, spot. Watcher. Uh, uh, Lodge between rolls of crystallized rock, a large fragment of metal protrude. It looks as through it might be possible to pry it loose. Pull out the metal fragment. She touch the splinter, and the metal begins to glow orange. Heat surges up your hands and arms, and envelopes you with such intensity you feel as through you are melting. The heat spreads to the world around you, turns it orange and then yellow and then white. The ground, the skies, everything around you drips in molten globes and begins to take shape beneath you as if it is visible mold. You and the shard are the last things to melt and fall. You and you, your addition, sorry, to the molten pool completes the shape of the immense hammer. The metal cools as quickly as it had heated. The handle is gripped now by two great lengthy hands and the hammer is cooked uh, back over shoulder to a broad and molten hilt top. The world of worlds around the heaves and hammer and you are flying upwards for what seems like ages into the airless blackness above. As you spin, you catch glimpses of rock large enough to be the moon. It is close, far too close to the world. The force of the impact shatters hammer and stone alike. The rock is redirected outwards, but a section of the front face is cleaved off and begins to fall, splittering part at the cracks. It's a hundred thousand fragments block blossom outward in all directions, debris, showers, the atmosphere, trailing smoke and fire below. Land and sea are far off, but gradually rising. Look to see. The largest of the fragments, wild, wide, wide as, a, as a city, bows toward, downward, sorry, in a fiery cocoon. It's Size reduces as the edges are more, um, was that more light, but it won't burn up in time. It lands slightly in the distant ocean, suddenly a column of water skyward and radiating ripples that spread like wrinkles in fabric. Then the sound comes tearing up through the sky. It sounds like thunder. Look to land. Features are becoming clearer by the moment as you streak towards the earth. You are lodged in an enormous boulder falling uh, among other smaller fragments that heat bursts around you on all sides. Beneath you, snow-capped mountains rise up, dotted here and there by cities of stone and the other. The impact will be destruction of all of them. The shadow of the rock frame is visible now, getting larger by the second. You are moments away from striking the ground when a massive shape throws itself into your path. The last thing you hear sounds like another rumbling impact, but that isn't what it is. It's a chuckle, relieved, breathless. You hear two words, made it. Everything goes dark, you open your eyes, the metal hammer fragment has gone free and you you now hold it in your hand, it is warm to the touch. Well, I've told you, the air around you is suddenly turbulent, spiteful, a cold damp and wind whips your face, salt crystals collect in your nostrils and crease of your eyes. The floor below you becomes blue, grey and glassy, churning the rolling and when you fall you crash through water. Violent waves hurl and spin you, something slithers around your ankles, seizures, 
Se yeah, seizes, seizes you with incredible strength, drags you down into the slippery depths. When the pulling stops, you are hovering at the center of the endless blue abyss. You can see neither surface nor floor. You seem to be facing downward, but there is no way to be sure. A voice sounds from everywhere at once, and the immersive pressure wave of each utterness sends you reeling. Deceitful Whoa. wretch! Hold on. Grave robber! You who dig for that which you did Ow. not bury, speak! Explain yourself and be just. Holy fudge. Wow, you know what? We're 45 minutes. I feel this is going to be a bit more to this uh, White March. Let's do one more episode and finish the White March off since we passed that, okay? So I'm going to end this episode. So please like, please subscribe, please share this time, and we'll continue this conversation next time, and we'll finish the White March, and then I think the show's. This particular episode. Well, this series, should I say, is finished. Anyway, like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye, everyone.